All right. I've started the recording. You guys, I'm so glad you showed up tonight. Um, remember, I just wrote on my personal team page, when you show up, you go up. And I have stood by that for many, many years. And it's very true. Sorry about the change in the link, but I'm glad you guys showed up. So I'm excited about tonight's call. Um, Lindsay is going to speak with us. Lindsay is in uh, my group, um, Brave Family. And about six, seven, eight weeks ago, I guess it may have been like 10 weeks ago. I don't know. We started a program called Dash to Director. Well, along with that program, all of a sudden, Lindsay decides she's going to be a go-getter. And she started this um, three-month program that many of you, you may have heard of before. Maybe you haven't, but she has had such great results. So what I asked Lindsay to do tonight is to come on, share with us about the program, because maybe you've never heard about it, or maybe you have and you've never done it. She's going to tell us about it. She's going to tell us what she did, and then she's going to share some results, and then she's going to be here to answer any questions that you have. Now, here's the thing. This program, I can tell you that I've run it with my team before as a group thing, but what I love the most about what she's going to share tonight is that she took it on her own initiative to do it, and she ran it, and then she shared it with her team members, and but she didn't, not Anne, but she didn't let anything stop her. She decided she was going to do it, and she did it, so... I thought it would be a great topic tonight because it's a 90 day program, which is three months. What is this month? Are we in April, May, June, July? That would say if, if we focused on this three month program, you would come right up to the fall with it. Okay. And like I said, the main thing that I loved about it was that she took her own initiative to do it, which means at the end of this call, we're going to challenge each and every one of you to do the same. If, cause here's the thing, if Lindsay can take this program and decide she's going to run with it, then each and every one of us can do it as well. And there may be things you change about it to fit you. There, you may do it exactly like it. But without further ado, I'm going to pass it over to Miss Lindsay. She's going to share a little bit about herself and the program. If you have questions while she's talking, please put them in the comments. And then when she finishes, we'll go back, we'll go through the questions. That way she can help you, can answer them or whatnot. And we're going to try and keep this right at 30 minutes and come out. Thank you, Lindsay. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. So um, just a little backstory. My name is Lindsay. For those of you that don't know me, I am part of Cassie's big team. I'm also part of Sabrina's smaller team, Rockstar Sensations. I've been doing Sensi for about three years. I do have my own team. I am um, shooting for this month to hit superstar consultant. Um, my dream goal is to be where Cassie is right now at superstar director. Um, why I started Sensi, I have a little boy who's disabled. He was born with hydrocephalus and epilepsy. I actually left a nursing job um, to take care of him full time. And that struggled our family a lot with money. And literally one night in the hospital when he was having um, his 40th brain surgery, I caught um, a post from Sabrina offering a kit and I was the first one to see it. And I took it and I said, listen, I'm going to suck. I'm not going to do well. I've done this. I've done direct sales before. This is not my thing. And all she asked me to do was do my best, give her three months of my best time. And if in three months, it's not my thing, no harm, no foul. I tried my best. Well, in three months, I ranked twice, had a team. And I said, you know what? I could do this. And I've been there since. Um, so that's a little about me. So what is 90 day slay? 90 day slay is very simple. It's very easy. It's a sheet of paper that I wake up every morning and I do. And it literally gives you literally check off step-by-step step how to do it. It's not hard. It was something that I found in the refresh and regroup um, a group that was going on for a while. And I was listening to a lot of different trainings. I was listening to a lot of different videos from people. And someone said they saw somebody else on YouTube. So I literally took me three days to find this paper. And when I found it, I printed off 90 pages because I was in it for 90 days. And my first day I did three things and said, I can't do this. And the second day I got up at six o'clock and I sat at the counter, made my coffee, made my son breakfast and said, you know what? If I'm going to grow myself in this business, I have to, I don't have a choice. It's not something that I can just push off. This is going to help me tremendously. And I started this in the end of January. 
I'm actually on day 83 tomorrow. So I'm almost at 90 day mark already. Um, but to be completely honest with you guys, it's something that at first it brought me out of my comfort zone because it has you add five new friends to your Facebook page, whether they accept you or not is a whole different story, but it's you getting out there in different groups and in different communities that you're in on social media. And you're adding people onto your Facebook that maybe aren't exactly a customer prospect or a, a teammate prospect, but somebody to get to know and build a relationship with because you can't, you can't grow your business based off of, hey, buy from me, hey, join my team. You have to have that connection with them. And it does push you out of that comfort zone. Um, the next step on this is follow up with your customers and posting current events and parties. That's something that um, we should be doing on a daily basis as far as parties go, posting in them on a daily basis, posting in your group pages, your VIP pages, your business pages every day. If you're not and your customers aren't seeing your posts every day, they're really not seeing you and they look at you like, well, if you're not here and we're not seeing from you, we can't go six days without seeing from you. Chances are you'll lose customers that way. Um, it goes to, you know, share the opportunity with five people. It's a share the opportunity with five people and ask five customers to host any style party. I've had people ask me about that. It, does it come across spam, spammy? Does it come across very salesy? No. And here's why. I don't just reach out to somebody I've never talked to before that's never had a, nothing to do with me and say, hey, by the way, I think you'd be great for this because they're going to look at me like, well, you're nuts. You don't even know me. When I do the share the opportunity, I do it with my past hosts, past customers, current hosts, current customers. For example, I just had a lady in a party place a $300 order by herself for a party. She wasn't the host for the party. I offered this kit to her. She's now going to host her own party this month to get her kit for free. And that's what she wanted to do. So I took that initiative where she was already part of a party for somebody and she placed that big of an order. So I reached out to her and she was part of my five for today. Um, past hosts. I had a host a couple months back that had a really awesome party with me. And I reached out and said, Hey, listen, I know you love our product so much. Would you be willing to? And she flat out said, yes, she's supposed to be moving in June. She wants to join in June after she gets her new house. Cause that's going to be her goal is to be joining my team and staying home. So I don't reach out to complete strangers. I'm not that crazy lady in your mailbox. Like, Hey, have you heard of my product? Do you like Sensi join my team? I'm talking to people that I talk to on a daily basis. And the same thing with asking people to host a party. I'm asking people who are in a party to host their own party. And I do do a little bit of um, like an initiative. anybody who hosts a party off of a party that I'm already hosting, if their party qualifies, the person that is hosting the party right now they get the perpetual party reward. So it's kind of like, hey, you're friends with so-and-so, you're in her party. If you host a party from this party, she gets a 50% off item if your party qualifies. And I have a lot of success with that because if they're coming to their friend's party, chances are they're gonna host one of their own. And then it, it goes on a little bit for you to shout out your team members. If you don't have team members, shout yourself out. You are your biggest critic. You are your biggest everything. When you are down in yourself, things are down with your business and whatever, then things aren't looking up. But when you shout yourself out, like you post the postcards that, you know, Cassie sends everybody, when you post that you're shouting yourself out, you did something you're proud of. When um, you have a teammate who did something and you shout them out, that's what people want to see. For example, I just got two prospects for joining my team because of the graduation pack that Sabrina sent me from Dash to Director. They wanna be recognized like that. They want a team that, that does the small things like this for them. And they wanna be part of that success. And I had two people message me directly and say, hey, listen, can I have more information? Because I love what this company does. And the same thing, like I posted my, um, the charm I just got from Sensi for my bracelet. I posted that, had another prospect. When you're showing people this and you're not saying, hey, buy this or hey, do this, they're more interested in what you have to offer. So that just takes care of like this whole part of the 90 day slay. Now this, I mark this off. I don't have Instagram. I know a lot of people do, but I don't. So I don't post on Instagram. So this part of it is marked off in mine. 
But then it says up on the top on this side, it says post six times on Facebook, but be yourself. And it says motivational product posts, family, pets, or kids, sensing mm -hmm. lifestyle, engagement, or interactive post. And then something your favorite, like food, um, TV shows, whatever the case is. And I always start off my mornings, you know, in prayer. That's one of my, my 10 minute day, uh, daily personal development that I do every morning. I pray that's, that's what I do. So my motivation is like, don't give up on yourself. You're your biggest critic, love yourself first before anything else. And I do that and I'll get tons of likes on my posts because it's me. It's, it's not, it's not a script that was written for me. It, it's coming from me and people want to see me. They don't want to just see a robot. Um, then the next part of it was, like I said, post three times on Instagram. I don't have Instagram, so I don't do that part. That just isn't my thing. And then it goes to post in your Facebook business page, your VIP page, and your team page. This right here is something that I push for my team because hands down, you should at least be posting once a day in your business and VIP page. If nothing more, at least one time. You want them to constantly see you're available, you're there, you're around, and you know that they're there. So every morning when I get up, my v VIPs get a good morning and what national day it is. Like today was National Grilled Cheese Day and everybody loved that post. Um, I do like, I think tomorrow is something else, but I do this because I also will use it to show off Scentsy products. For example, tomorrow's Peach Cobbler Day. I'll go onto the Scentsy website and look at anything that has a peach scent in it. And I'll say, well, in honor of Peach Cobbler Day, check out these products that have a peach note to them. Um, and I do that because like when we had National Unicorn Day, which was, I think was two days ago, I posted a National Unicorn flyer with a rainbow of Scentsy wax bars and had three people message me because they were so in love with unicorns, they needed to have this wax bar pack. It wasn't an official wax bar pack. It wasn't something they'd find on the website. It was just like a red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple wax bar that made up the rainbow and they just had to have it. So I do that. So my, my VIP page and my business page isn't all Scentsy. It's more me too. So they get to see my kids and they get to see my family and they get to kind of like be part of my life. Um, the next part on the 90 day slate is comment on 20 friends posts. That is something that I think everybody's seen like algorithms on Facebook, where if you're not commenting on their posts, they're not seeing your posts. So I always will go through like recent friends and comment on them. And then I scroll through and I comment on like everybody. I do way more than 20 a day, but that's just me because I have so many people that I keep in touch with. But that's a good place to start because the more you comment on their posts, they're going to see yours and you have that interaction where they're going to like and comment on your posts. And, and, you know, you can't beat being seen by people who really don't ever see you. Um, another thing it says on here is happy birthday messages. Now, what I do is I go and I find all my friends who have birthdays for that day. And I actually send them a happy birthday to directly to their page. But I also send them a graphic that says happy birthday from your Scentsy lady. And not only is that wishing them a happy birthday, but that's showing everybody on their friends list who I am without being salesy and spamsy, like, oh, I, I sell Scentsy. No, it's like, boom, happy birthday. That's it. There's nothing else to it. Um, and then it's message and thank people who are commenting and being interactive on your posts. And that pretty much takes care, of, takes care of this. Now, for me, like I said, I altered the, the um, Instagram part. I don't do Instagram. So that's what I changed. It does like push you out of your comfort zone to people who aren't keen to talk to people all day. Oh, okay. I thought I would screen share. I think ours okay. is a little bit different than yours, maybe. We Yours, yours looks a little different, I think. One of our team members a couple of years ago updated it to make it like this, but this is exactly everything she just went through. I don't think anything is much different. No, and what I'll do is if you want to, I have this one here that I was showing. If you want, I can post the link in the yeah, comment sure. when we're done. Sure. Okay. But yeah, and, no, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. So, so what she's saying is she printed out 90 of these and does them every single day. You know, I do I have to be honest with you, Lindsay, I feel like I'm about to challenge myself to do this. And I tell, I'm telling you guys, like, it's a beautiful thing when you can pick something up 
and challenges. So Lindsay, I have a couple of questions for you. Sure. I don't know if you know this off the top of your head, but after you, um, since you've been doing this, how many people have joined your team? Uh, five, I think one, two, three, three, and, two, and three and four prospects right now. Okay. This is your front line. Yes. Three front lines. That's amazing. Right. You guys, yeah. she said she's on day 80. I think, is that what you said? 80. Yep. Day 80, 80, which by the way, that's amazing all in itself to actually go 80 days to complete that. Congratulations on that. But three people that right there is setting you up. You're being set up already for, um, the incentive, right? So, so yeah, I actually just need, uh, I just need them to be certified and I've already hit level three. What? As, one, as soon as they're certified, I'm at level three. That's amazing. Congratulations on that too. So what I want you guys to take away from this is she's putting in the hard work. She said in the beginning that it is uncomfortable. Trust me, I know it's uncomfortable. I printed them off before and I didn't complete them because I got a little uncomfortable. But, you know, um, the things on here, especially like the thing, it's everything on here is helping you. And like the way you post on Facebook and all of that it, um, mm -hmm. algorithm, you know, like she touched on that. The more you do a lot of these things on here, the more you're going to show up on people's feed. Um, do you by chance know around about how many parties you've booked? <laughs> well, I'm booking into... <laughs> Um, so I am booked out right now until August. I have no room for anything until August. Good grief. Not <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not talking about like one party a week. I'm talking about like three parties a week, every week until August is where I'm at right now. And your PRV shows that. So yes. yeah, that's awesome. So what about people that say no to you? How are you handling that? Because the reason I ask is a lot of times when we do programs, or we do things like this. If someone ignores us or they tell us no, we tend to shy back and we don't want to message anyone else. You know, I'm sure you've been there before, but how are you dealing with it? If people are saying no or not right now or. So I, okay. So to be, to be completely honest, this is what my notebook looks like. Every one of these is everybody I've reached out to for the month. And on the 90 day sleigh, where it says, ask five people a day to host. I'll write on there. If they say no, they say no. And that's it. But I, I took something from what Sabrina had said a while ago was do that, um, that countdown from five to one and do it. There is nothing else to it, but just send it. If they say no, they say no, but the more no's you get, those yeses are coming. I could have not booked out until, and I'm talking like le le legitimately, I'm booking out until August right now because I have no more room. I'm pushing out August, September for parties. And if I had dwelled on the few that said, no, not right now, maybe later, then I would be stuck with less than 2000 PRV. These last two months, I've hit over 3000 PRV for the last two months because of this. And it's not, and, and prior to this, I'd hit 1700, I hit 1500, I've had 300 months. Come on, I am exhausted. Come over this. Sorry, go ahead. For me, it was if I if I want to reach my goals in this business, I have to step out of that mindset of, well, they're going to say no. Well, you're right. They're going to say no. Not everybody is going to say yes. But if you dwell on the no's, then nobody is going to say yes. So one of the questions on here is, did it get easier to hear no? I would almost dare to say when you look at your PRV, it's probably getting easier to hear no, right? You just move on. It is. And, and, and what it is, is especially when I write it down, like I've had a couple of people and this is something too. And I'm a big firm believer on trainings, whether it's a video on YouTube, something in the group, something that Sensi's offer offering directly from their website. When you do those trainings and you hear different things, like, um, when someone says no, you know, go to the next one and keep working. Or when you are booking parties, that that's the way through your business. You're not going to grow unless you do that. And training and listening to the different things and listening to everybody go from, well, this one had somebody say no. And this one had somebody say, no, I'm not the only one. Mm -hmm. And my PRV going from never hitting that 2000 PRV to that first month, almost at 4,000 PRV. Like that was my first month doing 90 day slay for a full 30 days. I was at almost 4,000 PRV. And for me, that was like, okay, I can do this and I can now reach 
that superstar consultant and then go for director and then, and then star director and then, you know, superstar director, because that's my ultimate goal. And these small little steps is what's going to get me there. And the trainings are helping me with my team. And especially with the 90 day slay, when I tell my, my teammates all the time, if you're not posting in your groups, at least once a day, then you're not working your business. And with the lady who did the training for this, that was on YouTube, I'll also find the link and post the video that I watched as well. She talks about that. If you do nothing in your business, but this once a day, that this is all you need, because this is exactly what you should be doing for your business every day. And in the beginning, it took me about an hour and a half, but now I can knock this out in 30 minutes or less and have it all said and done. And then it's done for the day. And I've had times where I don't look at my phone again until after dinner. And I see five, six, seven, eight, nine different orders coming in. And it's like, but I didn't sit on my phone all day. I actually was able to do stuff with the kids and get them involved where I'm taking pictures of, I have my whole countertop full of samples because that's what I'm pushing out. Or I have my daughter helping me with thank you cards because it's putting me in, in a, a routine where I do this and then I can focus on something else that's going to better my business and better myself. Well, and doing these things, we always say what you do right now is setting you up for your business six months from now. So all Absolutely. the stuff you're doing right now is setting you up for that, that big promotion for director in the fall, also for earning an incentive trip. So one of the questions asked is, can you share a little bit of your verbiage, 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 however you say that word, um, <laughs> verbiage. I don't think it's verbiage. <laughs> this is being recorded. Okay. Can you share a little, I, I'm staring at Sabrina because I know she's making fun of me and Jay's in there. He's really making fun of me. Anyways. Can you share a little bit about what you say when you ask people these questions? Shut up, Jay. Uh, if, if we're being specific, like <clears throat> to host, I'm going to do one for to host. So for me, it would be, um, for example, I just contacted um, a previous host of mine and it was like, hey, Mary, do you remember when you had your party back in whatever. And she was like, yeah. And I was like, your party did so awesome. I would really love if you could host another party for me and maybe have another epic party like you did. And she was like, do you know something? I think everybody needs new stuff now. And since the new catalog came out, let's totally do that. And she did. I had another one that was a completely, completely different scenario. And it was, um, Hey Jana, would you want to host a party for me? Um, cause she had already bought some products and, and I asked her and she goes, yeah, but can I push my party like three months out? And I'm like, absolutely. She goes, but could you possibly make me a link now? Because I'll shop from now till then and then have my party. And I was like, absolutely. I'll make you a personal shopping link. And when I tell you by the time her party came, she had already had $600 in orders just from herself by the time her party came. So and that's pretty much what I do when it comes to past customers, past hosts, past party goers from, from parties where it's like, Hey, you know, you had such a blast and all that fun that you had. Would you like to do that on your own party? And 90% of the time they want to, they just are waiting for you to ask. And if you're worried about that, no, then they're never going to tell you yes. That's, that's good. What about the days when you wake up and you don't feel like you want to do this? To be honest, if I, to me, it's, it's a thing with my kids. So for me, it's my money that I make from Sensi is to pamper my kids throughout this pandemic, because, because my son is immunocompromised, my girls can't go to school and because they can't go to school, my daughter starts high school next year. My other one goes to sixth grade. So they're missing out on that socialization at school. So they've been completely homeschooled now for, for a year, right? Cause March would be a year since they've been out of school. So for me, my paycheck from Sensi is to kind of pamper them a little and kind of, you know, let them have their own type of fun without tampering into what my husband makes for the bills and for the things that we need for the house. So for me, it's if I don't work this, then for example, we want to take them to Adventureland in New York during spring break. And because of my last two paychecks, I was able to pay for that completely from Sensi. And for me, it's if I didn't get up every day and bust my tail doing this every single day, as much as the days where like my son gets up at two o'clock in the morning and is up for the day and I'm exhausted. If I don't do this, I couldn't have done that. 
So that happens to be my motivation is to put the smile on my kid's face without having to spend anything out of my husband's wallet. That's awesome. That's good motivation. Lindsay, people are inspired. I don't know if you see the chat or not. People well, are saying I, I see it popping up, but I haven't read saying anything. They're yet. fired up. Someone says she's already printed hers. Um, people are really excited. So thank you. You really, when, um, when we had our dash to director call and you were discussing this, I thought we have got to get you on and share with us. So, um, this is going to be great for us. And yes, Casey, the other SSD that does this with me said that you are so appreciated. She's cheering for you and looking forward to your director promotion this fall, because right now the things you're doing are going to get you to director. And Absolutely. guys, if you pick it up and do it, which I challenge each of all of us that are on this call to do that. If you have team members, show this with them, show it with them. As soon as I get this loaded, I will send it to Casey to put in y'all's team page and I'll put it on Brave too. Share it with your team members. Even if one team member does this with you, that could change a lot. So, ah, I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's a wasp and now it's in my office flying around. It was on my finger. Uh, okay, now I have a, a crick in my neck or something. I'm turning funny. Okay, anyways, does anyone have any more questions for Lindsay? Everyone's just saying thank you so much. All right. Well, if you guys, even if you're on um, Casey's team, if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to Casey who can reach out to us or whatnot or friend each other on Facebook. She's Lindsay Marie on Facebook. You're not going to find her last name um, on there, but it's Lindsay Marie. Um, we're all in this together. So if you, anyone needs anything, let me know. Lindsay, again, thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you're it. You're very welcome. And keep rocking it, girl. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye, guys.